All right, fellow Vikings, welcome back. This time, let's talk about comfrey. Beautiful plant, isn't it? I mean, here. Look at the color purple on these flowers. They are absolutely marvelous. Like this is so beautiful. All right. And they open up every day. They they are, they are wonderful flowers. All right. So they are absolutely beautiful. But that's not really why I love comfrey. I mean, I've done multiple videos on this subject before, um, and I think that comfrey is an amazing plant. It has so many uses, and in particular, it's great for the garden. It's great for everything around it. It pulls nutrients up, right, and really helps with uh, the richness of your, your uh, biodiversity in your garden itself. Okay, now, let's ignore that. Let's assume that it didn't do that, okay? Let's assume that it doesn't have healing properties, and you can't make food out of it, or tea, or or salve or, or any of that out of it. Let's assume that you can't do that. I would still grow this plant on my property, right? It, it has one use in particular that I find to be absolutely fantastic. Like uh, beyond any, any other plant in my garden, that one little shrub down there is what I would make sure that I took with me no matter where I went. This is why. So, this monstrosity behind us and this sunflower are both the same species, right? They're the same genus that came from the same package, right? They were germinated at the exact same time in the same exact condition. They were planted about 18 inches away from each other. Why is this one so much larger than this one? And why is this one bloomed already? Comfrey tea. Real simple to make and it's amazing, right? All I've done for this one versus this one is put just a little bit of comfrey tea inside of its water when I watered this one and not that one, right? Also, I grabbed a couple leaves of the comfrey and put it right there at its base. That is the only difference in the conditions whatsoever. Everything else is exactly the same. They're the same amount of sunlight, same amount of, of water, same amount of everything with the exception of the comfrey, right? Comfrey with, without any of its other uses, all right, it's still amazing because it allows you to have quicker production, more production, larger uh, fruit, larger yields, right, with minimal labor. Literally, all, all you have to do to make it, it's actually, you know what, I'll, I'll show you in a little bit, you know, but look at this. This is fantastic, right? This is a testament to the, 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 um, what's the words? English really sucks sometimes, doesn't it? But no, it's, it's a testament to the power that comfrey can give you. You know, the ability to grow more, faster, higher yields with just one plant. I mean, look at this. It's why my, my cherry tomatoes are so large, right? It's why my, my, uh, regular tomatoes over here are so big. It's, it's why my corn is doing so well, right? Adding comfrey in gives you all of the nutrition or the majority of the nutrition that you need for your plant to survive, right? Not just survive, but to thrive. Um, if you go and buy commercial fertilizers, or especially the liquid fertilizers, right? They use comfrey, right? All, all they do with it is the exact same thing you're gonna do and then they add in a little bit of amendments here and there. If you're buying that, uh, the 10, 10, 10, or that you're getting comfrey juice. That's what it is, right? And like, so, so if you're able to produce it yourself for free and continue to produce it forever, right? With almost no labor, like the most labor it is, is what I'm about to show you and how to make this, right? It is so easy, right? There's no reason to drop 10, 20, 50, a hundred dollars on fertilizer when you can grow it yourself in your own yard all right let's actually go up and and look at how to actually make this i think that'd be a good idea maybe not i don't know i, I need to stop for time because youtube penalizes you in the algorithm 
for having less than a 10 minute video. And that's also why you've seen a bunch of YouTubers out there doing a whole bunch of filler at the beginning of their video, like 20 minutes of video before they even start their topic. Yeah, it, YouTube's going downhill because of that. Um, my last video was actually a, a joke making fun of a lot of the, the big YouTubers, a, a, a couple in particular who I actually, I enjoy and I know, right? And like, they do this in like all of their videos. They put a whole bunch of footage of animals on a random tangent, you know, just, just animals, farm stuff and all that in the beginning of their video. And in the last two minutes of video is all, all that they actually needed for that video. That's how YouTube used to be, right? It used to be just a couple minute long videos and you got you got uh, paid for those couple minute long videos the same as if you're making a 20 minute long video. So uh, it, it was it, it made more sense at that time to make shorter videos. Now YouTube wants these long drawn out videos and I'm done with this tangent. Let's go make some comfrey tea. Now you might be asking yourself, but Richard, how do I get that beautiful, disgustingly smelling, stinky tea? How do I get comfrey tea? Well, it's really not that hard. You literally just take the plant, you cut it up, or break it up, make it all compact and everything inside of a bucket of water, right? You know what? Instead of telling you, let me show you. Ingredients for making comfrey tea are one container, one Comfrey plant, the water, that's it. Rip it out, break it up, stick it in. Now, another good question that I've uh, I've been asked, ooh, hi spider, I need you in the garden, but I don't want you next to me, I wanna go play. <laughs> uh, another question I've been asked is, how much can I rip out without damaging the plant? And the plant, the, the, the real answer is basically all of it, right? So I did this about two weeks ago and it, it's already completely grown back. It, it ends up growing itself back, uh, like doubling its size every couple weeks. So you can afford to do this every couple weeks and keep it at the same size. So. Now how cool do I want to get this? I want to get this to the brim. I want to get the, uh, the entire plant in here if I can, or close to it. Hey, there's a caterpillar. One of the fuzzy black ones. Here, come here, little guy. Come here. Look. Look, Look at this little guy. It's all fuzzy. <laughs> here, you go back in the garden too. I can hear one of my neighbors coming down the street. <laughs> Sounds like they're in a tractor. I should probably stop this for the, for the tractor. <laughs> All right. So you can see I got most of this plant in here and really I could take it down all the way if I wanted to. It's not going to hurt the plant. Um, it's still going to come back. It'll come back in a couple weeks. And literally, I, I took down more than this last time I, I made comfrey tea. And uh, you saw how big it was. I mean, it, it was a decent sized plant, right? Um, it, you could go ahead and basically eradicate it and it will be back in just a few weeks. So this is a plant that you want to keep uh, sequestered to one area. All right, um, depending on which variety of comfrey you get uh, determines how you treat it. So this variety of comfrey isn't gonna spread much, all right? It, it'll clump from the bottom and spread out slowly over, over successive years. But if you're continually doing this to it, it's not gonna spread very far at all. Um, if you have uh, another variety that drops seeds, which there are, there there is some, varieties that do drop seeds then that one you're going to have to watch out for because it's going to drop the seeds and take over the entire area so you got to be careful with that right there but with my variety it's the uh, Russian K1 right this variety doesn't really spread out very far and it makes an awesome comfort tea 
Now I said there's three ingredients. It's a jug, the comfrey, and water. So let's finish this tea off and go get some water. And there you have it. You literally just pop a lid on it at that point and it's good to go. You, uh, once you have it fill up, it doesn't take much water because you stuff it completely full with that one plant, right? So it, it only takes like a gallon or two inside of a five gallon container. I mean, it's pretty awesome. You just stuff it completely full. At the end of it, you're left with almost no matter left at the very end. Once you're pouring the last of it out, I'd show you, but I'm not gonna waste my uh, my comfrey tea, right? I have, I have uh, the one that I've been feeding with the one I just made so I can continually feed whenever I need to feed it. Um, but yeah, no, it's super easy. You're left with almost no plant matter inside there and you just feed your stuff, make it happy, feed it yum yum yum. Yeah, okay. Um, so I, I do need to do something real quick. I have to thank uh, a few people. I've, I've had some visitors this last week. It's been freaking awesome. Uh, I had Lorella from uh, Not A Farm Girl. Um, homesteading journey I think that's her entire YouTube channel name I'm, I'm gonna get it wrong she's gonna correct me down below um, <laughs> guaranteed she'll correct it uh, actually she'll just like post something like hey this is me and you can see your whole name right there and you click that and I'll be like Ooh, how you doing right but on top of that I'm gonna put a link in the description below uh, other than that I got some yummy kale like I've already grubbed it all like I, I made uh, let's see a kale salad I made some kale soup I mean, it was good Right, it, that was like two days ago. She gave me this giant bag of, of kale, and I'm like, I'm gonna nom that. I did it. Right, but uh, yeah. So if you want to see where the uh, that kale was sourced, and them visiting me and bringing it to me, all right, I'm gonna post those two links down below as well to their channel. It's the Little Creek Homestead. Right, they are awesome. I love them. They're good friends of mine. Sammy's a little cute pie and she's also a spitfire. Like she will, will tell you what she thinks. And I absolutely love that about her. She's completely honest all the time. She's a great kid. Anyways, that's it this time. I will see you when I see you. I'm not gonna promise another one next week because we got lucky today, honestly. Uh, we had a break in the rain and my neighbor's been haying his field. So he's in between switching parts right now while I'm doing this video, right? So if we have another week like this, I can't guarantee that I'm gonna have a video out and it's saying that we're supposed to have rain from tonight all the way until next week. So uh, I, I can't promise this will be a video, but I'm gonna do my best to get one out to you guys. Anyways, that's it. I hope it's long winded enough for YouTube and for you guys. And I hope it's short enough that you guys stuck around this long to get those links down below and say hi to everyone. And I'll see you later.